This is Isaiah J. Poole, OurFuture.org, at the Take Back America conference. Van Jones, president of the Ella Baker Center for Human Rights in Oakland, has started a program called Green for All. It's a program that promotes massive deployment of green energy technologies in ways that will provide millions of new jobs, particularly in urban areas. In this interview, Jones talks about the program. Well, first of all, we're here at uh, Take Back America, we're at the, probably the biggest progressive conference in the, in the country every year, bigger every year, so exciting to be here. Um, I'm the president and founder of something called Green for All. Uh, green for All is a national campaign for green collar jobs and opportunities for uh, our young people uh, primarily. We want to make sure that um, our youth have green jobs and not jails, that they can get, you know, uh, jobs and contracts and entrepreneurial opportunities in the solar industry, wind industry, green construction. You know, we're going to beat global warming. We're going to have to weatherize millions of buildings. We're going to have to put up millions of solar panels. We've got to build wind farms. We've got to build wave farms. Uh, all that's, you know, that's thousands of contracts, millions of jobs. We want to connect this work that most needs to be done to the young people who most need work. Jones says he received a broad range of support for the Green Jobs for All Act, which was written into an energy bill signed by President Bush in December. What are you getting right now? Mm -hmm. Well, right now we're lucky to have the support of uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, uh, Representative uh, Hilda Solis from California, Representative John Tierney uh, from Massachusetts. We have the support of uh, Senator Hillary Clinton and Senator uh, uh, Bernie Sanders and, and many, many others we were able to get the Green Jobs Act of 2007 passed as a part of the energy bill that George Bush signed in, uh, in uh, December 2007. We had the help of the Apollo Alliance, the Workforce Alliance, uh, Center for American Progress, uh, 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 CALS, a lot of different organizations that all got together to get this done. You know, what we're excited about is we believe that we can build a green economy that, is, you know, that honors the earth, but that's strong enough to lift millions of people out of poverty. We've been hearing for so, so long that either you're going to have good you know, jobs or you're going to protect the environment, but if you try to protect the environment, you're going to have fewer jobs. Well, the economists now say there are more jobs and better jobs available in a green economy that honors the earth than there is in our present pollution-based economy. So now there's no reason for us to continue to rely on oil and coal and dead dinosaurs, that, you, know, you know, all that kind of, you know, fossil fuel technology. We can go now with new technologies, clean conservation and slash poverty and in the need for oil wars at the same time. So it's a win-win-win uh, to, to have a green economy. We want to make sure that green economy includes everybody. Jones is calling for a World War II level commitment to move into a green energy economy. Well, yeah, we need, we, you know, uh, some people think that, you know, just technology by itself or markets by themselves will somehow fix this whole problem of global warming and over-reliance on oil and coal, and it won't. We need to have all hands on deck uh, we need the government, we need labor, we need community groups, we need environmentalists, we need our business leaders all working to retrofit, uh, reboot, rewire, re-energize America because we are the biggest problem, we're the big driver of the global warming crisis for the whole world. If we fix our economy with clean technology, what that does is it creates uh, you know, many, many more jobs. It also lets us share that technology with India, China, um, Africa, Latin America. Let them boot up clean so they don't have to boot up the dirty, dumb way we did it. Um, we, can, we, we can be the leader, go from being the world leader in pollution to being the world leader in solutions. Jones also has some thoughts on what it means to be a progressive. Well, to me, you know, you know, being progressive means that we want to go forward. We're still in our long march from barbarism to something better. Um, you know, a few uh, decades ago, we, I wouldn't have been standing in this hotel because we would have still been stuck in you know, the days of segregation. If I were here, I'd have to be carrying a, a plate or shining somebody's shoes. Um, you know, progress means that you know now you know all of us have an equal opportunity to do what we enjoy. If you're a great shoe shiner, great. But if you don't want that job, you can have another job. So you know that's what to me being a progressive means. Being a progressive means that uh, we're moving from a, a, a past where uh, difference and division and, and and destruction and wars defined human existence to something much better. And I don't know where this road ends up, but I know that we have to keep moving forward. Well, thank you very much, Van. All right, well, thank you. Jones is one of the 2,000 grassroots activists who came to the Take Back America conference in Washington. This is Isaiah J. Poole, ourfuture.org.